I would be remiss if I just didn't give you the floor and ask you what you what your takeaway from the Bills beatdown of the Rams to kick the season off. What is that takeaway, Richard? Um, you know, I thought I thought early on, I mean, the Rams defense played well. I thought I thought they created turnovers. Nick Scott was all over the place. Uh Bobby Wagner had a sack, freaking Aaron Donald had sacks, like they were making plays, Troy Hill with the interception. Uh, but I thought they just got worn down. You know, I, I didn't think the offense gave them enough uh, throughout the game. I don't think that offensive line is going to is gonna stand up. I think they're going to have to make an adjustment um, and, and bring somebody else in. I was I was jokingly saying they, they're going to call wit, but it's not as much of a joke as people think it is. Um, you know, I mean, Note Boom looked a little overwhelmed at times, and he's going to have he's going to have a lot to deal with this season. Yeah, it, it, it was a, a very difficult night for Stafford. The offensive line uh, allowed 15 hits on their quarterback, seven sacks. And as I mentioned to start the program, you know, all the All-22 Twitter uh, remarked that there was no blitzing by the Bills. They just went and rushed him, and they got to him, and they hit him. So um, you think the fix is that his less needs got to be on the phone line today to find another offensive lineman or two? R five. I mean, no, no question. I mean, it's it. I think if what they showed uh, now, now nothing is Buffalo. Buffalo is freaking was the number one defense in football last year in in terms of yards mm -hmm. per game. Um, but they have to go against the San Francisco 49ers defensive line twice, and and they have monsters, and they all have already struggled with them consistently. You know, they have to go against them twice. They have to go against the AFC West twice. I mean, they have to go against AFC West, and you know, you got another Bosa coming to town. You got Chandler Jones, you got Max Crosby, you, you got Khalil Mack. Uh, you, you know, the people that they're going to have to deal with this year, if they don't get that fixed, I mean, 15 hits is just the, the tip of the iceberg. And then, what did you uh, make of the Bills um, offensively, Richard? It, it just seemed like the only issue could be possibly that Brian Dable is gone, their play caller is gone, and and that might leave the Bills adrift. But then we saw the first set of downs was a remarkable uh, a remarkable march down the field. Ken Dorsey appeared to be pushing all the right buttons, and what a button to push than Josh Allen. I mean, that's the way I took it. How, how, how difficult is it going to be to stop this offense this year, do you think, Richard? It's going to be really difficult, and he took his time, you know, and I, I think that's, you know, you hear the Rams' remarks after the game talking about we thought they wouldn't be patient. We thought Josh Allen would be impatient and take shots, and he just took what the defense gave him. He didn't force anything. Hey, it's taken away. Check it down. That's five. That's eight. Hey, it, it's taken away. I'll take it with my legs. And for the first half, it seemed like he made a conscious decision not to run it. And I think that was Kim Dorsey, and I think that was Josh Allen. I think they made a conscious decision to say, hey, let me show you guys, this guy's an MVP candidate with his arm. And then the beginning of the second half, the first, I think it was the first drive or the second drive, they had two designed quarterback runs immediately. Like it was just, they were so in tune and so in rhythm that it, it, it was like a game. It was like they were just scripting what they wanted to show and what they wanted to do and what they wanted people to see. It's like a movie. And if you're doing that in a game against the defending Super Bowl champs, like, oh, my goodness, <laughs> this is going to be a fun season for them. Five-time All-Pro cornerback and Super Bowl champion and Prime Videos Thursday Night Footballs, Richard Sherman here on the Rich Eisen Show. So run down for me the team that can beat the Bills in the AFC. Is it the team that you're going to go see uh, host the kickoff of prime videos Thursday night football and the chiefs because they have knocked the bills off twice. Could it be the Bengals, anyone else in the AFC West or anyone else that I'm missing? Walk me through that Richard Sherman. I think, I think it's one of the two teams that we're going to see um, this upcoming Thursday. I think it's either the chargers or the Chiefs. you know, and unfortunately the chargers haven't lived up to the lofty expectations that everyone has had for them. Um, but hopefully this is the year they do. Um, I think Justin Herbert, Prime to continue his his, his great play. Uh, obviously, then getting J.C. Jackson, we'll see if he's healthy for this first week, and hopefully he's healthy for for that game. Um, but Khalil Mack bringing him into town, um, Sebastian Joseph Day to secure that run game. You know that was a huge weakness for him last year. I think they'll they'll have a chance. Obviously, people are making a huge deal about the Kansas City Chiefs losing the Cheetah. <clears throat> which is which is obviously you'd lose an all-pro receiver. It's going to make a difference. But in the preseason, if that was any indication, 
Uh, they look like they're w- ready to weather that storm. Uh, you, you know, just, Mahomes is still Mahomes. Um, Andy Reid is still Andy Reid. Uh, the enemy is still the enemy, and they're still calling the game the same. You know, McCole Hartman is, is taking some of the some of the stress off. Um, Juju Smith Schuster is doing some things. I, I think they're doing it by committee and in a way that it would have all been cheated to do this job, and they're doing doing it with four or five guys, but they're still getting it done.